What's up guys and welcome back to another Dalen Collins collectible video. Today we're going to be going over how to actually play Sword Soul. Alright, since Sword Soul is pretty new, everyone's sort of testing it out. I've seen a lot of decks where they run Danglong, but they don't actually run anything when Danglong leaves the field. It just does nothing. Or some decks just don't even run uh, Danglong. Because you can't really get into it unless you have the Mecha Phantom Beast coming off of um, Lordon. This deck is like super, super banned in the TCG, but it's Lelon Master Duel for just a little bit. Let's see how it goes. But I'm going to just really go over what, uh, well, how the combo goes. And um, we're going to go over the deck profile once we're done with the combo. All right. So we're going to start off, you just need to be able to summon Crystron Halky Firebrax and you need a worm in your hand. So we're going to use this, we're going to use the Strategist, Strategist as the uh, worm in our hand and then we're going to have the Tiny Monsters coming out, Christian Halky Fibrax, Needle Fiber. Alright, so we're going to start off with a Shuna and we're going to make Shuna into a Monk. Don't worry guys, we're going to go over the deck list in a little bit. Just watch the combo or you can skip ahead and go to the deck list. Alright, now we're going to summon out Hira. It's all very standard for most of what's what we need. So it's plays, but you know. Here's the Halk. Halk summons uh, Despot. And then we're going to go into a Rorgon. Alright. Standard so far. Uh, we're about to get change in sort of what we do. As most decks would go. Let me get to the point on the board. We've got Despot. So we got Despot as level 1, 2, and 3, 9. So we can make a level 10 right here. That's most. Sword Soul decks will do. Uh, if they do vary, they'll come out Denglong right now, which I'm about to. But this is the farthest that I've seen the deck actually evolve. Brings out Daniel Denglong. And the key part about my deck and how it's different from every other Sword Soul deck in Diamond 1 is Denlong says if this face up card leaves the field you can special summon one Yangzing monster from your deck. The Yangzing archetype is really good because if they're destroyed they summon another Yangzing from the deck. So we're going to be abusing that because I have not seen anyone abuse it. And we're going to make an unbreakable board through Droplet, through Dark Ruler Do no more. You are absolutely unstoppable. Alright, so we're going to add with Denglong the first Omni Negate. Now this is when a spell, trap, or monster effect is activated. So if anything happens, you and you control the Yangzing card, negate the activation if you do shuffle that card into the deck. Then destroy the Yangzing monster, or the Yangzing card you control. That will come into, uh, there we can go ahead and set it because it's just a uh, slow mode of moment. We're not actually going in ranked. All right, I gotta showcase this deck here. Here's a big variation. Most people are gonna want their Moyi in the graveyard first because they want to use Moyi. But I find if you go, if you start off with Taya, Taya has an effect where when it's used as a synchro material, you can send a Sword Soul card or Worm from your deck to the graveyard. So then you can send Moyi, and then you get both Taya and Moyi's effect. So we're gonna start with Taya. It's going to make Denglong level 4. Now we got to sink 7 because I can't sink 8 right here. Alright, and when Denglong leaves the field, his effect activates. Banned in the TCG completely. Banned, Aurorodon's banned, uh, Mecha Phantom Beast banned. Alright, now we're going to summon out Chinwin first. And please don't use Chen Wen as a single material. It says right here when this 
monster is destroyed by battle or a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon a Yang Zing monster from your deck. We are going to be abusing that with Boxia. Coincidentally, also a Yang Zing monster. They really wanted this to be the loop to looper combo. Okay, so if you're going first, you don't want to use the on summon effect of Boxia. That's going to return one card mandatorily back to your hand. Which you're going to have to just target something. Uh, if you do accidentally use it, you can target this token. Uh, no big deal. But now we're going to activate Boxia. This is the only reason I went Boxia and why Boxia is actually way better as a extender than... Uh, what's the other card called? I don't even know its name. This one. Grandmaster. Uh, Chicken ch 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 Chow. Yeah. Watch what I can do. Boxia effect targeting the Yang Zing monster. Special summoning tie from the graveyard. Yang Zing monster effect activates. Special summon monster from deck. This is the one and only Yang Zing card I believe that's in the game that does something different when it's destroyed. This one instead of special summoning another from the deck, which we're no longer going to want because we have Omni negates, and we're gonna have two monsters on. Oh, well, we want another Omni negate because we're gonna have two Yangzing monsters on board. We're gonna get that Omni negate through this card. So first, we're gonna start with Taya. Got to get to the uh, uh, second box here. Yeah. So you can banish anything right here. It really doesn't matter. Try not to banish your ten yeast. Then we get the token. Now we'll go into the second box here. Yeah. Remember, don't use the on summon effect. You gotta wait. Actually, you want to use the top effect. So you don't want to just left click right here and go or right click and skip the screen. You want to actually click tie this effect, activate that, and then you want to skip that. Now we're going to send Mo Yi to the graveyard. So now we have our second target. We are going to obliterate this Yang Zing card for Mo Yi. The Yang Zing card is going to get its effect on summon or on destruction, and Mo Yi will have her effect on summon. You can go ahead and protect the Mo Yi effect, or you can do it the other way around to protect this, whichever way you want it. I believe actually doing Mo Yi second is better because Ash Blossom can be countered. So now we have two mini gates and two Yang Zing on the board. And as you guys know, we're not done here because. I don't need to go into this card and search for the level 10. I just drew it in my hand. I get to go into Bore Load for the third Omni Negate. Now these Omni Negates, the Yang Zing Omni Negates, you want to use both, both these effects. So let me just go ahead and do this real fast. But these are not once per turn Omni Negates. You can use them both in the same turn. You want to link a ward on because it gives him three tokens. So you have three charges of an Omni Negate once per turn. Alright, we have two Omni Negates right now. Three Omni Negates. This negates drop it because they're not going to send a trap. Unless they send a trap off drop it, then they're going to get blown to pieces. You have to send a trap off drop it now because this, this Yang Zing combo is going to absolutely obliterate Diamond. Oh, I needed to summon Bloat up there. That's a big misplay. Uh, it doesn't really matter though. Uh, all you would do is summon Strategist and go into Baron for a full Omni Negate. And that would be the actual loop combo. Slight misplay on my part for the tutorial. No big deal. Uh, when you summon whichever your third summon is, you want to summon it here so you have the extra room. So Strategist can summon. But as you see, I didn't even use. Any, I didn't even use my normal summon. I didn't need to because I had two tinnies. And you're gonna start. You're gonna end board. It's gonna be these three and Baron, which is gonna be four Omni negates. Then you're gonna use them in order, as I say. Uh, if you have actually, I can go ahead and do this since we're not gonna be going into Baron. If you have an Ishana in the graveyard, you can banish it. Summon out here your Boxia into a Xiaofeng. I'm going to set the Xiaofeng up here. 
And I already used the Tinny's effect, but I can go ahead and make up for my misplay by at least smelling something off of Strategist. Alright, right here you'd be able to swim Baron, but because I use the Tinny's effect, it locks me into worm type monsters. Only Baron cannot be summoned. But we'll just say that this is a Baron of Floor for the sake of this tutorial. And after you summon the Baron of Floor, you are then going to make Shaofeng with uh, the Ashana in the graveyard if you have an Ashana in the graveyard. You should be able to get Ashana in the graveyard uh, because this is going to negate your opponent from using the light monsters. And yes, your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters with the same attribute as the Yangtze monster used for summon. Boxy is light. So you cannot use, or your opponent cannot use light monsters. That's going to be your sort of like disruption. And I'm going to tell you the Omni Negate order. You're going to Omni Negate first with Overload, unless it's like Droplet where you need to use your nine pillars. Then you're going to Omni Negate with Baron, because you can only Omni Negate once with Baron. And then you're going to Omni Negate destroying your Boxia with a Nine Pillars because it will destroy one of your monsters. You want to actually save that until you actually need it as your third Omni Negate. And your fourth and final Omni Negate if you need to destroy your Shaofeng for the sake of Nine Pillars and something, you destroy your Shaofeng. And that is how you get four Omni Negates off of... One crystal on Howley Fiberax actually takes three cards since you need the two cards to summon Halk and then a worm, which is actually the best to be. Uh, it, it can either be a worm or a Sword Soul card, so it's the best to be Sword Soul Emergent. Second best is Strategist because uh, you get to go into your eight, you get to summon Bore Load instead of having to search your uh, Strategist with uh, this guy. Master. All right, so let's go into the deck profile, guys. I've been working on this a lot, and it's going to be built pretty much like a regular Diamond One Sword Soul deck, with the exception of the cards that summon. Uh, we got one Chinwin and one Mecha Phantom Beast O Lion banned in TCG. <laughs> So you can summon Denlong, which is also banned in the TCG. All of this is banned because of Sword Soul. That's the reason they banned all these cards. Uh, you got the Zephyrin, new Secret of the Yang thing, to get both of your Omni Negates on turn one. Summon your Border Load if you, if you don't need to search your uh, Strategist. Uh, let's go over the deck. In just a quick format, uh, quick so if anybody doesn't know what the cards are, this is Chiwen, Light of the Yangzing, Despot 001, one of each, two Adhara, I mean three Adhara, three Maxi, one Mecha Phantom Beast O Lion, three Ash Blossom, three Sword Soul of Moyi, one Taya, you only need one. We're not playing Desire, so you don't banish it, you don't need more than one. Three Incredible Ecclesia, this is a tuner, if you, since we don't need to use our normal summon to do the whole loop. Uh, if you only have one worm, like let's say you have a Bichuda and an Incredible Ecclesia, you don't actually use the effect of Incredible Ecclesia to search a sword, to summon a sword ball. You want to actually just think, uh, link it off to Halk. Three Ecclesia, one Zephyr New, Secret Zing Zing, uh, Avid Combo. Three strategists, two Bishuda, three Ashuna, two Nibiru, which if you're playing permanents in your deck over Nibiru, do you understand the power of Nibiru? Maxi, oh I'm gonna take a Maxi challenge, and you don't have Nibiru in your deck? Dude, you just lost, because you can Nibiru them into cape, and they're just gonna scoop after they try to take the Maxi challenge into Nibiru, and it would, please. Please play Nibiru. It's the best hand trap. I know that Ash Blossom is so versatile. Maxi negates their whole turn. But Nibiru will cause them to scoop. You win the game when Nibiru comes out. You win. Alright. Then we got one Arcanemesis Protoss. Mandatory. For a combo. If you ever summon this card, you call Dark. And hopefully you don't have a Border Load. Or a 
protecting you on the field. If you do, you don't want to call dark with this because it's going to blow up the bar load. Three vessel, I find it's best so you can search your Adhara and special summon it with any tiny monster. So let's say you start off with the Vishuda, you link it off into the monk, you use vessel, search Adhara, sending Tide to the graveyard. And that way you can send Moe to the graveyard, and if you have Moe and Taya in the graveyard at the same time, you can summon Moe first. That way when you summon Taya, you can banish Moe, and then return Taya to your hand using Hedhara. Alright, and three emergence. One blackout is mandatory if you ever need to go into like, oh man, I got skill drain, but I can still summon a Grandmaster. Uh, or like, you find a way to search. I guess you can't do that off the screen. We can blow up your monster using magic. All right. Uh, this is this is just an Arcus attack, guys. It does so much, and if you banish it, someone is a source of token. Nine pillars of the Angling, two of them. That's it for the main deck. Don't go over forty cards. This is an FTK OTK deck with four Omni negates. You just want to make your Omni negate board. Extra deck, we got one down long. First of the Yangzing, the very first one. It's the very first broken one. And as you see, before they ban this card, you can only special summon down long first of the Yangzing once per turn. And then they banned it. So you can only use it once per turn, anyways. Uh, Yazi, that's for the combo. You have to sink seven, and it has to be a worm. So you can summon it a Boxia. Yeah. Your tuner doesn't have to be a worm, which is why you can use that spot to summon the first box here. Yeah. But the other non-tuner has to be a worm. Then we have two box here. Yeah. And we have Borload Savage, Savage Dragon. This is so good, and people are not using this. Oh, it is the dark, and you're gonna blow it up with Protoss. Yeah, but it gives you three charges of an Omni to get you can use on your turn, on their turn, and then on your turn again. For absolute destruction. That's going to be a minus three to them with a one card. And we got Berserker of the Tinny. If you ever lock yourself into a worm type monsters only, and you won't. This is actually really good because it states whenever your opponent activates a monster effect, you can banish it. You can only use this effect once per turn, but you can banish that monster. And. You don't negate it. You can only banish it. So you want to use it on a monster. You don't use it on a hand trap. You want to use it on a monster on the field. So you can just banish it off the field. It's pretty good. People don't expect that. If there was a card to cut, it would be this. Or a Monk of the Tinny. Because one is only required for the loop. Uh, there's like two floater spots right here. Which you can make like a level 8. It'll go uh, rank 8. Single play. I was thinking about playing Hope Harbinger. Because it's another our Omni to gate, but it takes two boxes to make one Omni to gate, which is two Omni to gates. Since you use both boxes for the Yangzing nine pillars, uh, two Grandmaster is very standard, and Sword of will run two. If you don't start off your combo, you can search anything basically with this. And if you don't need anything, you can summon it and get a blackout. And then they can't skill drain you. Chow Fang negates Nibiru. Uh, since you only got, I guess, if you were to summon this and have a Mecha Baron be line on the field, you could make Chow Fang dark, but you already destroyed dark with Protoss. Chow Fang is also standard. And Baron de Fleur, make sure you summon Baron before you use Ashuna. Remember, summon Baron, then use the Shuna's effect to summon a ten from the deck. And then the other rank level ten is Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign. Uh, it's pretty good if a card is ever banished, which you do if you have a Grandmaster on the field and it's their turn. You banish to negate one of their monsters. Then this is gonna banish card from their field and their graveyard. So you could just ruin their whole day. To 
long of the 10 yi, like I said, you only need one for combo, but two is standard in sports while 10 yi, because uh, it's more versatile. And the Hulk, <coughs> and then the Hulk and Aurora done. Alright, guys, that's pretty much it. If you like the deck, make sure you hit a like in the comments below. If you want to see more, I have something special. I have the Dino FTK deck that I've never actually shown anybody. And I'm actually going to have the deck on Master Duel and in real life to show you in the same video. So that's going to be cool. Alright, I'll see you guys later and thanks for watching. Peace.